Hi, good afternoon everybody. In this video, let's take an in-depth look at Devon Levi season. Coming up. All right guys, I wanna do a video on Devon Levi. It's due, so I wanna do this. And uh, what I've done is I've done my computer geek thing and put a whole bunch of numbers out there for you. I'll make sense of it and I'll keep it running as quick as I can. Let's jump on it. All right. His season so far, okay? Most of you might just see these numbers on the top and not know the rest. And I'm gonna give you more of an in-depth look at what's going on with his season, why I'm so high on this kid. He's uh, 24 games played, 16, seven, one tie, a 1.55 goals against average, a 948 save percentage, nine shutouts, and a winning percentage of 688 with him in the nets. Just phenomenal numbers, right? Well, let's look at it and break it down a bit and see some things that are very glaring, you know? And there's not much bad. <laughs> I, I tried to find bad. I found some bad, I'll show it to you, but not much. Okay, so the first game of the year, he pitches a shutout right away on 29 saves. They, of course, win the game. This, I'm gonna go in sets of eight, okay, guys? In the second game, he, he gets another shutout for 20 saves, another win. His third game of the season, three, uh, he lets in three goals on 31 shots. Northeastern loses that game. His fourth game, he lets in four goals on 36 shots. Northeastern lose that game as well. Then his fifth game of the season, another shutout. 25 saves for a win. His sixth game, he lets in five goals on 41 shots. They lose that game. Seventh game of the season, he is um, uh, pitches another shutout. 32 saves, win. Eighth game, lets in two goals, 21 shots against, win. So that rounds out basically the first third of his, of his season right there with five shutouts in eight games. All right, let's look at this. In the ninth game, he lets in one goal on 20 shots, win. 10th game, one goal on 35 shots, win. Game 11, one goal on 21 shots, win. Uh, game number 12, two goals on 25 shots, loss. The do I got that right? Hold on, guys. That doesn't make any sense. I just got to check something here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yes. My bad. My bad, guys. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's my bad. I'll fix that after. I charted it wrong. That's right. All right, so he, let, he lets in two shots on uh, two goals, 25 shots, lost that one. Game number 13, zero goals, 38 shots. My God, win. 14th game, two goals on 35 shots, tie. Game 15, one goal on 26 shots, win. 16th game, one goal on 21 shots, win. Let's go to the final eight because I wasted some time panicking about something I wrote wrong. 17 games, zero goals against, again, another shutout, 37 shots, win. 18th game, one goal on 35 shots, win. 19th game, zero goals again, 18 shots, win. Game number 20, zero goals, 26 shots, win. And here's where it gets a little weird, okay? 21st game, five goals on 45 shots, loss. 22nd game, zero goals on 27 shots, win. And 23rd, the 23rd game, three goals against on 34 shots, loss. And here it is, the last game he played, he led in four goals on 12 shots and he was pulled at the 13-22 mark. It's his only blemish really all year. So you see the one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven losses there, and the tie there. Yeah, this is definitely a loss. 
that I forgot to mark down because I seen something wrong and I'm going to have to probably fix it back here. Uh, six starts, uh, two goals or less. Here we go, 18. Got it. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm going to flip it over and keep this moving. Now, six starts, he's let in three goals or more out of his 24 starts. In six starts, he's let in three goals or more, which were three, four, five, five, three, and four. That's 25% of the games that he played, he's let in three or more goals. Northeastern's 0-6-0 when he's let in three goals. As simple as that. When he's let in two goals or less in 18 starts, okay, he's let in two goals or less. And there, there's the loss where I got confused about the two. Anyway, keep moving. Okay, these are his patterns of games when he's let in two goals or less. Zero, 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 two, one, 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 two, zero, two, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. 75% of his games, this guy's let in two goals or less this season. And um, the numbers are nuts, guys. They're nuts. This guy's numbers, I have not seen something like this. Not like this. 15 out of 24 games, he's let in one goal or less this year. 15 of 24, that's over 60%. After a loss, he's 4-2-0 and oh with four shutouts, though. I'll go back to that in a sec. Now, breaking down the season, let's look at it by goals. Okay, how I many he's let in? He's Nine games, he's let in zero goals. Six games, he's let in one. Three games, he's let in two. Two games, he's let in three. Two games, he's let in four. And two games, he's let in five. He lost two in a row twice all year. And that's him not bouncing back after a win, which I'm going to flip it over and we're going to check that one last thing. In those, um, in those two, uh, lost two in a row, two game, two, two game losing streaks, two and two. He's won five in a row twice this year, a five game winning streak and then a six game winning streak. He's went, he went 12, one and one in a 14 game span with five shutouts. In 14 games, he had five shutouts and he went 12-1-1. One, and, one. and that was after the season, the hot start. He did it again, you know, it's just crazy. Nine, in his nine shutouts, the save average is 28 save per shutout average, which is important. And that's one of those statistics, guys, that Dominic Hasek destroys Patrick Watt and Marty Berdur. I seen that stat out. I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna do it myself eventually, I swear, and figure it out. But I remember the stat was something like they had 21, 22 per average for shutout, and Hasek was like 34. It was insane. Just insane. Crazy numbers. So yeah, I wanted to, show, I wanted to break this down, because this is one of those things that stood out for me, and we're going to wrap it up. All right. After a loss, what happens? Okay, here, he had another loss. All right, so... There's one of the two losses after a loss where he lost. And there it is, another one down there. But we're, let's continue. So after that loss, shutout. After this loss, shutout. After this loss, shutout. After this loss, shutout. So there it is. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know what? I was wrong. Think about it. After what we got one, one, one shutout here, two shutouts here, three shutouts here, and four shutouts there. No, I was right. Okay, okay. So that's his four four shutouts. He's bounced back with shutouts like this guy's crazy. So that's what I mark there, if I'm correct. Four, two, yeah. And the other two, as you've seen, were the back-to-back -back losses, the only time where he got pulled, and here, early in the season. That's it, that's it. I believe this kid's a real deal, guys. I don't think this is any like flash in the pan fluke, you know? We're gonna have to uh, really consider getting this kid to sign very soon, and also make sure to get him up and get him a game or two in, God.
I'd hope, I'd, I'd love to see him this year. That's it for this one, guys. That's it. I'll see you in the post game. Have a good one.